Hi, in this video we'll introduce a new kind of problem which is expenditure minimization problem. Suppose we have a consumer whose utility function is U and he wishes to achieve or attain a certain level of satisfaction and he wishes to do so in such a way that he minimizes his expenditure. Okay. So let me just write it formally here. So he wants to minimize expenditure by choosing X and Y appropriately subject to the constraint that he attains mu level of satisfaction in equilibrium. Okay. So U X Y is greater than or equal to mu. So in, in pictures, this is how the problem is going to look. If this is how the indifference curve is going to look, corresponding to mu level of satisfaction, then this is the constraint. The constraint is to pick from this region a point that minimizes the expenditure. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ISO expenditure curves. Okay, so what are ISO expenditure curves? Basically, they are all those x, y's that cost the same. Okay. What is going to be the slope of the ISO expenditure curve? Well, it is Pxx plus Pyy equal to some given constant. So the slope of the ISO expenditure curve is again going to be Px by Py. Okay. So this is one ISO expenditure curve whose slope is Px by Py. Now, we want to minimize expenditure. So obviously, we would like to pick a point which is on the lowest possible ISO expenditure curve and if the shape of the IC is going to look like this it appears that it will again have a similar kind of solution that we have already seen while we were computing demand. Okay. So the solution will again have this property that the slope of the ISO expenditure curve is equal to the slope of the indifference curve. The solution to this problem is known as Hicksian demand. Hicksian demand is a function of, so let me put h here, px, py, okay, and the mu, the level of satisfaction. Let's say if you're going to increase mu, then the IC will shift the constraint upwards and the solution will change. And if you're going to change px, py, then the ISO expenditure curve will have different slopes. So that would, that would lead to a different point here which will minimize expenditure so it will be a function of px py and mu okay so we'll do an exercise in which we'll see how to solve for hicks in demand in the next video okay thank you